at the time, November 2009, it was the worst mass killing of police officers since 9-11. Four Lakewood police officers ambushed and killed while on a coffee break. Sergeant Mark Renniger, officers Tina Griswold, Ronnie Owens, and Greg Richards. The killer, Maurice Clemens, was shot and killed by a Seattle police officer days after the coffee shop shootings. But prosecutors got convictions on five of Clemens' family and friends, accused of helping Clemens hide and get away from the murder scene. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. Darkus Allen, the accused getaway truck driver, who detectives said dropped Clemens off at the coffee shop and then picked him up nearby shortly after, was convicted of four murder counts and sentenced to 420 years. Wow. I ain't gonna bring him back, though. This was a lynching, man. Come on. Allen's defense attorneys appealed, and the state Supreme Court sided with Allen based on wording used by the prosecutor in the trial. Allen has remained in custody, awaiting a new trial on the same charges. His supporters are hoping for a different outcome this time. They're trying to find a, find a fall guy. Alton McDonald with the New Century Justice Network has organized protests with hopes of getting Allen freed. He says there's no proof Allen knew what Clemens was going to do, and he hopes jurors agree. I hope and pray that they will see through the fluff and see that there's no evidence they're linking Douglas Allen to this crime, and therefore they will find him not, find him not guilty. Pierce County's prosecutor says they won't do any interviews on this trial until the trial is complete. Tomorrow morning is jury selection, and a spokesperson for the prosecutor says they will pursue these four murder counts. They say they have the evidence to prove that Alan knew Maurice Clements was going to kill those four officers here at the coffee shop. Live in Parkland, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.